Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, no, you know, my dear, walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101, and we will pop up. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. That's where all our visuals are. And this, I know y'all going to subscribe because y'all love what we do, but we'd love to have your membership. How you find our membership link is under each and every video that we have. In the description section, there is a link that says join our membership. Do that because y'all always see us on the street and be like, how can we support the brand? That's how you can support the brand. Join our membership. Man, Thank listen, you. man. We got some guys here today, y'all. They don't really need no introduction. You know, they've been on here before. Well, one of them have. You ain't been on here before. It's my first time. First time. And, you and got, it ain't the last time. God got me. No, yeah, I, God got you. <laughs> <laughs> man, Bubba Doug, who you got with you here, man? man? I got my homeboy, man, Anthony Corbin, one of the dopest writers, movie writers in the business, man. You done shot at this dude out by two I or three times got on here. Now you got, got him here, man. Yeah. Big and, facts. And I met him, you know, I'm going to be going to tell the truth. My people need to know the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. Uh, <laughs> I met him at the barbershop. You remember that day? Mm -hmm. And he 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 wrote some stuff for us. It, it hadn't came out yet. So you wonder where it was. <laughs> See, I'm like a real, I do real movies. I don't know if you, but when you do it, let me tell you what, and, and I'm sorry. Was well, he the, actually over here and then we went no, over no, 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 we, no, we, we were over here, here and then we, we went over here. Over here. Let me right. tell you something. You don't understand what you get dealing with here. I'm a real producer. I'm waiting to see. It takes three, four years to come out. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> gotta edit, gotta do yeah. it. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I, it's gonna be great. I'm doing my thing just like the old. I'm not with this new he stuff. Kanye West, bro. Okay, okay. There you go. Kanye West, yeah. okay. Or Dr. Dre. I'm gonna drop that album. Okay, yeah, yeah, eventually. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but nah, man. Thank you guys for coming on the show, man. So, how did you guys link up? Uh, actually, uh, we were shooting at uh, a friend of his house. We were shooting a short. Like a skit I had wrote, and uh, she connected us. <laughs> and, uh, Why you laughing, dude? Why you laughing, dude? Nah, I'm letting him. I'm letting him yeah, tell I'm, the story. I'm letting you tell you. So uh, I still got love for her. She uh, she she blocked me. Well, on social media. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I, I she blocked me. Like, like, see, I still got love for her. you. Know some dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and then yeah. she blocked me. Come yeah, right after. Yeah, y'all blocked. Y'all been blocked for some years now. You know. What so, did you uh, do? Huh? It ain't what I did. It, it just uh, I'm putting <laughs> like this. Uh, I could be a little difficult at time and. And one thing, me and him, me and him would go at it all the time about patience, weight, stuff like that. You know, so I'm more, I'm militant. So I'm like, hey, I got to do this, 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 and this. Or we need to do this. And he'd be like, nah, bro, don't work like that. So I'm new to the game. So she connected us. We worked together. We linked up. So he was like, man, I like the way you structure this. So if he need me to do something, I just put it on paper for him. He just tell me. And I put it on paper. Just how I did for y'all that day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but uh, she's still good people I got love for. I like her kids and stuff. You know, I'm, I'm a forgiving guy, man. You know, she brought us together. So but it's look. like, you know, you really, you know, you you really, it's a, a subliminal way that you gave that to me, nigga. I'm going to interview her. I, I, know, you know, you know, you know, I don't want the dirt, but I'm just saying, no, I know what you just did. It ain't nothing. It ain't no dirt and nothing. Okay, bad. well, yeah. you just didn't do a job. Just you, were too damn, you were too damn slow or too fast. Which one? Or she was too nah. slow. She was she was too anxious. And I'm like you, I'm patient. I wanted it to be done right. It ain't and coming out for three more years. Keep yeah, playing yeah, with yeah. me. Yeah. This me and him, this almost three years ago. Facts. Yeah. And we both like checked it out and like, hey, I don't think this ready. And she was just so ready to put it out. And we was like, nah, once your name out there on some that's serious, you know, yeah. and it's hard to take it back off the internet. Oh, mm -hmm. no, the internet undefeated. Dub, no, I understand that. Me and him <laughs> got a little situation. It's a little underhanded joke we got. <laughs> but he know, he know I understand that the utmost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some things you just don't want to just move on when you don't know what the hell might become or what the whole situation Facts. is embodying. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. So how, how did you get into writing? Uh, so I did 12 years in the military, Army Reserve, deployed twice. Boy, that'll make a nigga write right there. Yeah, man, so I knew... I never fit in. I used to have two gold teeth. I went in in 19. I'd have thought and you were yeah. from New Orleans. I, Saddam, seen a, I seen them two golds. Permanent since I was 12 years old. New Orleans. 12? 12. Yeah. So let me tell you I got them. My mom was asleep once. She said she was going to get it for me. It was income tax time like around now. She was oh. asleep. I called her. I said, Mom, you still going to give me the gold teeth? Yeah, baby, go ahead and get out of my purse. 
I woke up, my mom tried to beat the line down my ass. <laughs> you you already you ain't got I smiled. She said, boy, what the? I was at shining. 12. Yeah, I was shining. Ooh, that nigga had to go. I had, I had them lit up. Yeah. Permanent. Permanent. How were you mm-hmm. able to go get permanent at 12 years old by yourself? Sal- 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 Dr. Watt. Dr. Watt. Dr. Watt. Dr. Dr. Watt. I knew your ass yep. went over to Do- Dr. Dr. Watt. Watt. He ain't asked no idea nothing. He don't care. He said, you got 190. I said, here you go. I gave him 200. He popped them hoes in there like yep. it wasn't nothing, did he? I fell asleep in there. I was young. I skipped school that day and everything. So my mom, boy, she That's crazy. Is. So. Boy, that nigga came through with them goals at an early age like that. Yeah. The women love that, didn't they? Oh, man. I, but I got to a lot of stuff, too, because <laughs> people try you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they they, they stereotype me every time. I had yeah. tattoo, gold teeth and stuff, young. But I, I'm... A, I ain't like that. My mama's boy. I'm a good guy, but I got I got the other side. If I have to get there, but I don't never want to get there with nobody. Uh, so when I was in the military, I knew I was gonna get out. I said I need to find my niche in life, and I I said let me write. And I came across a Master P Eddie Griffin video, and he said Master P gave him a million dollars for the script Foolish. So I met P when I was a kid at the Larry Johnson Center. Him and Eddie Griffin, and my mom know Eddie personally. So then, fast forward later, I met P. Everything just came full circle. And then I started writing. P actually connected me with a uh, network uh, for my movie. Then COVID happened. Mm. And they shut everything Damn. down. So I still got the emails, the notes, everything. And the lady went cold turkey on me. So, you know, shout out to P for that. And uh, my man Rizzo, who I be with, the marketing director. For sure. And then that's how me and Doug, that's how we linked up. We've been rocking almost three years. Wow, that's dope, man. I love to see, love to see it, love to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you you writing and, and what's the most difficult thing that you've been challenged to write? Uh, the writing part was hard for me was formatting okay. and having the right software and stuff like that. But what I did when I say I grind grind it, I called every Writers Guild of America number that's on the list, every agency. So I'm talking about this over 300 num- list numbers on there. I called every one of them every day. Email email. I still do it to this day. I sure do. Email people still to this day. Like, cause right now the scripts they ready to go. I got the pitch decks in the work. I got some stuff for Netflix in the works. So everything's starting to come full circle. But it, it's it's the writing part comes easy for me. It's like natural. I just can wow. go. So so cause I will. I, I'm thinking about doing skits. You know, Dub getting too much money now, so he ain't really <laughs> he can't afford. He ain't it. really doing it like he used to. Now nah, he got so much going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah. I'm, I got some skin. You see my people. I'm still. I got. Oh the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still got the same people. Yeah, you got too, a good crew, except for uh, a few of them. You know, yeah, we yeah. made changes with the structure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Life, personality. But, but, yeah. but I still got the majority of them, and uh, I really want to get back into it, doing the skits, and and really, I had never dropped any. I dropped maybe two just uh, just on my other test, channel. Test run. Yeah, but I'm I still got about thirty. That's thirty. Good. I'm and 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 I'm looking to I'm looking to drive it on even further. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't like I can't do it, but I'm not knowing if I'm really good at this shit. You know what? I mean? Yeah, look, the people are gonna let you know, and then you can't be afraid to fail either. One mm-hmm. I, when I put the first one, one nigga say, "What the hell is this? Who the hell is this? They ate, ate yeah. me alive in the comments." So I said, "Damn." It was on my other channel. You heard? Yeah. Nobody know I'm out here doing it. But yeah, I got, you seen the cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, they ready. They were legit too. They yeah. worked hard too. Oh, they, they ready. ready. They, they ready. They ready. It's about eight of them. Them niggas, eight is enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How hard is it though, Dub? Like, like I know you do it and you kind of have your own way of doing it where it's just you. And, and it's easy to control just you and mm-hmm. maybe maybe your girl or something. But how hard do you think a crew would be to do? I'm trying to do a crew. Well, it, well you know, it, it's hard to get people on the same page, bro. But if everybody on the same page and everybody got that one belief that, you know, one goal, like, we finna go out here and we finna do this. And then it could work. Especially, but these, these days, now, you got to have a little paper. You got to pay them. You got so, to so pay. If you, you putting some money in their pocket, they're gonna they're gonna do what they supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. I, I always think about y'all because y'all so dope, man. But y'all don't know nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> y'all dope, bro. But I really don't like you niggas no more, man. You niggas too good, man. The internet made it too easy. I, I hate that. I want to pull the, the reins back, but I, I mean, if I could call uh, Mark Zuckerberg, yeah, somebody need to. Well, he, say, well, he was messing up Facebook the other day. Man, hey, yeah. man, why don't you man, slow had, down? He had them whole skit. <laughs> Put them hoes off the news and everything before it come out. Them hoes sick. <laughs> <laughs> but I just know that we'd have a dope movie with all these. Yo, you niggas are so dope. You know what I'm saying? From you, Dizzy, Country Wayne. They went pick. And shout out to T. I seen the apartments. That was cool. But I want to see. 
these key nah, players. Nah, wait till you see this shit we got cooking. You see what I'm saying? Wait till you see this shit we got cooking. I want to see something. Man. I want to see something. I'm talking real script. I'm talking about real I need comedy this, man. script. Real comedy script. I need script. this. You know what I'm saying? Real. Right now, we're working on the budget. That's how, That's it right now. Yep. Everything else, our script done. And it's about casting and stuff like that, too. Uh, got to cast, though. Yeah, the casting. You think I get it? Let me show you something. You see the look? Yeah. I got it. Shit, see, dude. Yeah. Fuck the look. We need to we need you to invest. <laughs> All right, Chris is down. Did you see the look? I'm trying to get a point there, though. You didn't even see the look. Don't invest. Yeah. You give me the points you want. You see that? Yeah, executive producer. <laughs> Say, man, we might need to talk, because I know I know it's going to bang. No, nah, it's a dope. I know it's, it's going to bang. It's dope. I ain't no cap. And tell them what I'm trying to, I want to I want to add, I never co written a script with nobody, but I want DJ Pooh. Really? Yeah, because you got to think. You link to him? No, nah, me and Doug. I am. To I reached out to him. He hit me back, but then I haven't been. He be on I'm my kinda, page. I'm kind of linked to him. Hey. You know how, though. Well, what yeah, we got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, facts. Link to him for real. Yeah, he really Couple is. Couple of ways, actually. Yeah, yeah. Definitely do phase. <laughs> I, can, I can get him. Yeah, we trying to get it. We that. trying to get it in the theaters, man. I'm talking about this. Remember he was talking about Rogers Home? Yeah. This it. Wow. This the script. This this the one. Wow. But like I said, I do rewrites or he'll call me like, bro, I want this character in here. What you think about this? And then like he'll tell me like how wardrobe. So I gotta write all it, like Damn. describe it. But I study I study him what he do, his movement, his action and stuff, how he might say something, stuff like that. Like uh see that's what people don't understand. Like, what do you see this motherfucker on stage? Next week, you ain't gotta tell me, nigga. You just saw, yeah. I yeah. already be telling niggas, and I tell the skits. I be on these niggas hard, yeah. Old and the new school. Yeah. What, what, Bruce, what Bruce, Bruce tell us? He said it's the best yeah. shit I done heard in, in you years. Got, you got to, I already know. Like I know talent, nigga. I know funny. Yeah, <laughs> your ass ain't funny. I done went to sleep on unfunny. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I be in that whole sleep, nigga. I do this number right here, nigga. Yeah, he be you going. See me yeah, do that? he be going to everybody's show. Boss, I'll get you. No, he <laughs> know. I'm gonna yeah. go to sleep, nigga. You better have it together and be telling them too. <laughs> yeah. That's the way you get better, though, man. You gotta have un honesty and criticism. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to talk. I'm yeah. going. I ain't gonna never not talk. We gonna talk about it. Yeah, yeah, quick. Yeah. But I gotta ask you a question. Yes. Cause a bunch of lies. You say you was in the south. That's where you raised I'm up. South Dallas, Bonton. Big Tuck made a statement in that song. He said he rolled down the X at night. It looked like, like Vegas. Vegas. And he ain't fucking lying. <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> and he ain't fucking lying. Like Big Tuck, man. That nigga said that. And he meant that. I'm telling you, go down that night. See, people don't understand the hood. It's so much beauty out there. You know what I'm saying? When the, when the guns fire stop, when you hear the... The bickering, the rookie stop, you're going to see, really just look at this shit. Look how downtown you're riding on the freeway right now. Dallas lit up. Oakland. But we oh, finna oh, break. That was Oakland Street. Yeah. See, we you finna... niggas change it from Oakland and then start getting fly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't from there, though. I'm from five I minutes back young. I seen a nigga uh, get his head blowed out right there, nigga. I'm an old nigga. I've been mm. around. See, I just played basketball. Is that chicken there. place, Henderson Chicken, still there? No, nah, they moved up there by the front park. You well, know, I safe by the front park. They got security there one night, yeah. and then they still ask me, "Do you still want the chicken?" I say, "Hell, yeah." No. That's when they used to be able to walk up to that yeah, little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. They got security there. Yeah, they that's got security. The only one no, out. They, <laughs> <laughs> they got security. Shout out point. to Henderson Chicken. That was back in nineteen eighty nine. We were babies. Yeah, yeah. I was a baby. But no, nah, man, I, I just like I say, man, I'm going to be watching and I'm going to be asking, like, if you can carry an extra load, right, but we need to, I need somebody to help me, too. It's going to be because you over there, you know, you, you romantic with it. You, you got to go through with him, man. See what I he, ain't tripping on his him. What his schedule looking I like. I ain't tripping on him, nigga. I'm coming in. <laughs> you understand? We, we got you. I man. don't never come right. I always come wrong. I'm the, I'm the. <laughs> I will show up at your house and steal your cologne, nigga. Take it with me and bring it back. I'm in Dallas, you so know you can reach me. You're, I'm in Dallas. I, I take the cologne from my cousin, I'll take it back, set it down after I use it a week. I'm that nigga. You know what I'm the bar shit too yeah, long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming in all wrong is what I'm telling you. Sure. I got you, man. I'm out here in D-Town. I'm, yeah, I I'm know in you're Dallas. in Dallas, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I respect it, bro. Yeah. But I, like I said, thank you so much, man. Like I said, I'm going to always you know, rock out with you. If Bubba Dub with you, I'm with you 100 percent anyway. Well, so we I ain't got no other choice. We gonna see nigga when he gone. <laughs> no, no, I just said be with you. I'ma send a screenshot. Hey, I don't like, think that nigga simple. be calling me like that, do it, baby. Shit, look, I call. I'm gonna be out with you. You know, most niggas. I mean, I mean since you want to put it out there, and we on boss talk, right? 
You ain't tag me or nothing. You ain't like no pictures or nothing. You ain't <laughs> comment. I bet I can show you some likes. You ain't likes. my damn friend. <laughs> yeah. I ain't say, hey, that's one, the only, one, way, that's the only way you know now. <laughs> it ain't like it used to be. I, I got you. Right. Look, I, I go down the list. Oh, that nigga. Oh, you know the game, niggas but, that like you stuff but, all the time. But it's crazy you say it because it's, it's real. A lot of people like that though. That just go and look. Mm -hmm. That's but, ghost watching. I remember Cam for he whoop. You see, he whooped that nigga. He said, yeah, you what? Nigga, several. It was about 13 of them, wasn't it? Cam one bullshit. <laughs> nigga, what? Cam had one in the head. Oh, wait, don't you say nothing else. We got a whole thing to talk about, man. Check it, man. We going to slow down and then come back into it. Did we get everything? That's everything. You sure? I'm sure, man. I I'm going to clip that, though. Man, I'm telling you already. I'm good with them clips. P going to pop in that hole. Yeah. <laughs> right. P going to yeah. love it. P going to yeah. love it. I yeah. promise you, I'm going to pop him in there, man. Yeah, he got Thank you for coming on the show, no, man. I appreciate it, bro. Big love, yeah, man. Sir. Yeah, Bubba Dub, man. What's going on, man? What's good, boss? Up? Man, come on, man. You been going around, man. I, I'm going to be real with you, man. You be everywhere, dude, doing everything, man. I got to. Man, I see you everywhere, bro. I seen you mention something about uh, Shannon Sharp, Neil, one time. I, I thought you was joining Club Shay Shay or something. What was that yeah, all about? Yeah, man, yeah. I'll probably be joining the volume right now, you know. Uh, Is that still going down? Uh, hopefully it do. You know, it's, you know it's, it's complicated with the paperwork right now, man. Um, so, you know, I don't want to just speak too much on that, but I just tell people this, man, just make sure you sign the right contracts. Um, you know, some people, uh, try to hold you back, man. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 And I know you're getting a lot of things that's happening for you and everybody coming at you far, they're going north. Facts, you know what I'm facts, saying? So facts. I get it, man. So just be real with me, man. Like, like how is it now with you, you and, uh, you've established a relationship with, um, Money Mayweather, pretty much. My brother, man. Like that's what I'm saying. How is how is he doing? And and I know he's dealing with the boxing world. Vegas lights. There's a lot of lights out there. There's a strip club out there. He's a lot of a lot of people mention his name right now. You know, uh, Bill hanging them. Bill, you know, you yeah, know that's my going. boy. You know, stopping you know, now. You know, Bill. Bill been talking some stuff, man. Fuck yeah. Bill. Oh damn, I knew it was coming, man. Fuck Bill. What happened with Bill, man? Nah, he, Bill cool. Bill, Bill be going off on, Bill cool. on, on Bill, Mayweather. Bill doing what he' supposed to do. You know, I respect that he'll follow. He' supposed to look out for his son. I'm just joking, but you know, fuck Bill. You know, I'm team. I'm Floyd to the day I die, so, man. So, so, so. I, I never knew the boxing world like that, bro. Oh, it's like that. It's really like that. I was tripping off of that, like. I'm like these niggas sit, but it's a lot of money involved. It's a bag involved, and I should have knew when I started thinking about it. Like, damn, man, they ain't playing no game about this boxing, man. No game. No game. Man, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. Was you the one? Not was you the one pull uh, Mike Epps and Shannon Sharp to the side and say, "Guys, we got to figure this out." Nah, I wasn't. I, the one. Thought, I thought. It. Nah, I can't take credit <laughs> for that. I can't care, but I think I'm, I'm. I thank God that Unc uh, realized that you got to come to Naptown and you can't come to Naptown with that kind of talk about Mike Epps. Mike that, Epps really that, what? He, he, what? How they say it? What? He really liked that. It ain't that he really liked that. It's that the people love Mike. So the people, there. what you're saying is the people love him and basically, okay, what, what is too far though, Bub? Like, Bubba Dub, have, when when have you gone too far when it come down to joking? Who's off, okay, when the when the video comes people out. People kids. People kids is all the way off limits with me. Okay. I'm not going to talk about nobody kids. But I, when I seen Cat Williams do the interview, I knew just like me, once you start dealing with the comedy world, you know I've been dealing with a long time, you open yourself up to where these comedians, they going to come for you. For sure. So was Mike really wrong? Was Eddie really, really wrong for, for for going at Mr. Shaw? Uh, I, I hate to ask you a difficult question. It's not difficult. Uh, it's not Mike a comedian. Mike did what he's supposed to do. I just think that the fact that Shannon got mad that he lied and said that he reached out to him. Shannon said he I didn't reach that. out to Mike. That's what Shannon was mad about. Um, but no, nah, but all Mike, that, Mike ain't Mike. Mike all, ain't went too far on then. So he, all Mike that other stuff was a green light. Yeah, I mean he a comedian. He going That's what we do. We find funny in people and talk about him. It's not personal. Yeah, but no, some people get personal. Get personal. But it's not personal, man. It's not that we dislike you. It's just something that we see and we talk shit. Like I, I talk shit about Dwight Howard. Damn sure do But I'm still cool with him I ain't going to his goddamn house None of that yeah, shit yeah. But I'm still cool with Howard I what, see him chopping up house, How you doing Mr. Howard Behind your back Fuck Howard Man mm -hmm. Cause you know no, no, It's crazy in the world You and you know sports right yeah. Bro dude I, And you can say no, nah, E you wrong But man I sure think When 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 Shannon did that interview 
with Cat Williams. Stephen A. seemed like he jumped out the window trying to figure some stuff out to make <laughs> to, to make his show go viral. I'm just being real. Like, like it's, it's competition in this game. You know that everybody's going to be number one. And right now, Shannon Sharp is number, number one. So everybody's going to say any little thing they can about that man. And that's the crazy part because it looked I'm like, damn, I think Stephen A. He came out and said something about that other guy. I done forgot the nigga name. The little nigga that always he 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 they argue back and forth. Man, 70% of these niggas who got shows are jealous of Shannon Sharp. And that's they what can I They say said. what they want to say, but they jealous of that man right now. Jumped out there with Cat. We want that shit like 60 some million. That shit crazy. It's the fr- most that boy, most that watched gym, interview. That boy shit jumping out the gym. Jumping out the gym. Like crazy. Jason what what Jason Whitlock. Fuck Jason Whitlock. <laughs> <laughs> Be that, like that Beethoven that, dog. Fuck Jason <laughs> Whitlock, man. <laughs> Pat McAfee, he was hired. He, yeah. Wasn't he hired yeah. because of uh, he really like a social media like like him, his he he got he had a previous uh, situation, but Correct. this social media blew up for him. How much did he change the game when he came into it? You know, he, far as on the he changed the game a lot. He really did. I gotta give him that. Pat McAfee, yeah. yeah, he changed the game. A he lot. changed yeah. it, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I think that's what what people are looking at. I mean, this internet didn't change everything, bro. Yeah, man. The it world got, wide got, web. It, it got. I mean, the internet is, is a monster, man. Because you got to think about, you got people who get behind them phones or them computers and type anything. Yeah, yeah. And be acting like they're the most gangsterous person in the world, and and, and they and it'll run your blood pressure up if you ain't smart. If you, yeah, you, know, you can't let this internet shit get to. It's a gift and it's a curse. You just gotta not use it. Wow. And once you know how to use it, you you know what I'm saying you you will keep on doing what you need to be doing. Wow, I th- I think when you look at like different people that been on Shannon Sharp show, and I'm gonna get off of them here in a minute. Monique, they've been coming through. Country Wayne, either for uh, Desert Banks, you know what I'm saying. Like it's crazy how that platform is. Like you say, you're number one right now. You know what I'm saying. What do you what does what does all these interviews and these podcasts? What does it do for the game though? It just give people a certain perspective on certain people. Give them an insight on what's going on. Better. Get the normal a little bit better. Cause some people don't don't do interviews, and you know a lot of time I watch them because they be giving game. Me too. I be watching for the game, and then some of the people that I know who we up to, I know some of them be lying. Yeah, you right. So you know how to cipher. Like man, okay, whatever. Because bro, I hate about this game. Certain people can go on certain networks and say something. And us black people, I got to be real. Y'all be taking everything these motherfuckers say like it's like it's like it's true. Damn, you show sure right. But how you know Cat it's not? Cause you know bullshit when you Cat hear Williams bullshit. Cat Williams said that he made a contract you to know say it. if he wear a dress in the next movie. Yeah, I'm like I can't. I don't see how he could be that calculated, bro. No way. He was young. He just was getting the part himself. I hate when people say, "Well, this person got on because they did this and that." How in the fuck did you get on? Wow. Mm-hmm. People don't never stop to think to ask that question. And I hate another thing in the black community when you start doing good, start being successful. Oh, you sold your soul. I ain't sold shit but some fucking jokes. <laughs> oh, that's how you got with Floyd. No, Floyd jumped in my DM. I ain't Let's go looking for nuggly niggas. I can jump in Shaq DM. They jumped in my DM. Wow. My 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 path different from the rest of these niggas. They reach out to me. No, nah, that's real. And then we, 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 you know, then we go and chop it up, and you know, if it, if it's real, then it's gonna be real. If it's fake, it's fake. So, but me and Floyd, shit is real. Like, like a big brother to me. He called me one in the morning. He playing cards in Iceland. Damn, <laughs> but uh, what you doing, man? Shit, I'm, I'm in the bed. Chat was good. Oh, then just checking on you. Make sure you straight. I'll be back. In the states, certain amount of time, pull up on me. I like, all right, gonna pull up, man. You gonna do him a lot, me, man. You gonna pull up, <laughs> man. I'm gonna pull up on you, but like, we we just talk about investments. Like, I would tell him I want this certain car. He like, man, fuck that car. Go get that house. That's real. Shit like that. That's real. What? You made me watch Vlad TV the whole thing, nigga. How was the Vlad TV? Vlad, 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 Vlad cool, man. You guys got not gonna talk on that motherfucker with Vlad. He be asking you some police ass questions. <laughs> Bad cool, man. I just seen the interview. I watched it. You seem like you handled it very well. Uh, yeah, he was. You know, I, you know, people clip. They say how they want to clip it up. Oh, you know, wait a minute. Like, it was a difference. Yeah, you know, because you know it. it you you'll say something, then you come back another clip. They make it like I would just continue to talk about the White House, and I just really wasn't just on that. Like I was just telling Vlad, you know, you can say what you want about the White House, but the boy was a Hall of Fame, boy Hall of Fame, boy That's NBA real. star. I ain't I don't give a fuck about what he did in that bedroom. That's just what he did. That's what he do. That's him. But on this court, 
Dwight Howard is an uh, NBA Hall of Famer. He should have been top NBA 75. I stand by that. Dwight Howard should be NBA top 75 player. Wow. You know what else I seen that I was going to ask you about that Johnny Manziel, man? Sharp, Johnny Sharp killed that interview. Oh, for sure. He killed that hoe. For sure. But, you know, Johnny, you know, Johnny got away with a lot of shit <laughs> because he was white. And we all know that shit. Drunk ass Johnny. <laughs> Drunk ass Johnny, Johnny got the Heisman, and but I, I, I like his honesty though. He letting the world know he was a fucking drunk. He did, and, 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 and they knew it back then, but they wasn't covering they it like that. They, they wasn't was covering it like that. that shit under the rug. But uh, respect to Johnny Manziel, got one of the the best, uh, one of the best quarterbacks that would come through Texas. I, right, I got to give him his credit on that. Wow, like, did, did you like uh, when you? How was it? Because I hadn't talked to you since Skip Bayless and y'all sat down together. Yeah. And will that ever happen again well, in I, the near future? Uh, I don't know, because the way it's looking, uh, the, the podcast taking over. And they take on it them over. certain shows like that, you can't say what you really want to say. Okay. But on the podcast, you can talk your talk the way you want to talk it. And it seems like the features, the way it is now, it's the way it's going now. So it wouldn't surprise me. It won't be long for ESPN and all them boys just trying to fade out the way. That's why... Stephen A. went and got his podcast going so he could say what he want to say on there. That's real. Like, and I feel like what I'm doing and it's going to change the game because who, who needs ESPN and Skip Bayless now when I'm already giving y'all the report on the sports? It's too late. You see what I'm saying? That's you, real. It's all about now. Instant, instant. So by the time they come on TV and all this and that, I already done talked about it. Damn. But Damn. I see some people, although, you know, podcast is going the way how it is and people like it because of the freedom of speech. You have certain caliber, certain people that will only go to the radio stations, only go to certain people because they know that they are limited and they don't want to be asked certain things or they don't want to, you know. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Fuck them. <laughs> Do you do you? Well, let me ask you this: uh, You still gonna have to ride with the Cowboys next year? They got Jimmy Johnson as a consultant. Is that gonna change the game? Not a damn thing. What? Hell no. So a consultant. Uh, Doc River was consulting for that black coach up there in Milwaukee. <laughs> what they doing up there? Not a damn thing. <laughs> So uh, unless, unless Jimmy gonna come down and coach, ain't nothing gonna change. It ain't nothing gonna We're change. We're gonna be happy for a little while and then sad in the motherfucker come January. Man, and, and that's the whole game. I be tripping I be tripping off the way they do in these sports, man. Don't seem like nothing be changing, but they act like if it'll just change the game. Man, we ain't winning shit. Jerry Jones out here taking paternity tests. I was about to shit. ask you about that. Did that come shit. back yet? Is that his daughter? Yeah, that's his old ass daughter. You know <laughs> that <No>. shit. That's <laughs> his daughter, man. Oh damn, yeah, yeah, man! Okay, they said he had put up a trust somewhere anyway for her. I man, I don't. I mean, you know, and yeah, they got that bread. Yeah, that he ain't paper. He, Jerry paper's different. Man, um, I seen you in a picture with Boosie. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was Mike Epps mm -hmm. and it, who else? It was what, it just you. That was just y'all. What y'all yeah. got going? I mean, we just at Mike house chilling, eating. Nigga had a live band in his house. Bro, was that real? Was that old TV real, my nigga? Yeah, that's real TV. Don't bro. play me, real my TV, nigga. bro. I seen that TV. I said nigga got a prop. Nah, ain't no prop. Real TV. Mike got like five houses on that block. How big I is heard that? About that? How big is that? To buy the block? It's dope. It's dope as fuck, man. It's inspiration for me. And real. Mike just bringing me on his wings and just teaching me the game and talking to me and just you know just being patient because. He just tell me just be patient for us for long. I'm gonna be running this shit, but I don't just want to run shit. I want I want it to do it the right way. I want to bring other people that's mm -hmm. deserving, and and give them their shine as well. But I tell people right now they be hitting me up, dub. I need you to do this and that, bro. I ain't even got my foot in the door yet. It just look like this. I'm on that's all real. grind right now. That's real. So, man, I, I, okay, you you gonna be and I don't have all the particulars down in Mississippi did you that fly I seen it yeah. where the hell is it at do you even know all I know is in Meridian Mississippi it's in Meridian I know they got good water down there where we going <laughs> well, yeah, well, I'm not doing nothing down there man. No, we got good water where we going god damn it <laughs> we're, gonna work, we're gonna work on the rest of Mississippi we're gonna make sure we get the right water down there help y'all out cause we all need help <laughs> but Meridian Mississippi got good good drinking water good drinking god water damn, right. we gonna be down there what, the 26th April 26th April 26th we're is going down, down. going down man, man. Can't wait, man! I can't wait either. I'm coming down there too. You know that. I'm glad. Got we you. got, got to get down up. there. I'm pulling up with you. I'm doing some more interviewing and cutting up with y'all for sure. So, man, up. man, I heard you have your own weed strand. Yeah, I got my own what? weed strand called This Ain't Trash. Tell how me. did you? How did you yeah, get that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm real. I'm, I'm shout out to my boy, uh, Mike the Cricket Champ. 
Okay. Um, you know, they got a uh, a thing out there, a weed thing going out there in LA. Jokes is up. Shout out to them. Um, they get signed for this two times too. He finna mm. have his own strain come out wow. over there. Lean from Turkey Leg Hood. Shout out to my guy. He got his own. Got his own strain coming. Uh, out. Well, his shit is out. And um, but, but ain't Lynn ain't with Turkey Leg Hood no more. I mean, more? he know he's still part of it. You know, he's still married to it, but he ain't running. They fired that motherfucker. But yeah, that was fired. crazy. You, you, yeah. you get your ass out that of here. That was crazy. So she running it now. He running now. He cooking oysters. <laughs> but it's okay. He gonna bounce back. He gonna bounce a real, back. A real nigga gonna always bounce back. But the main thing is that they still married and they good. For now. Ain't no good. <laughs> ain't no good. Ain't no goddamn way. You fire me and we still good. It's, Shit. it's problems, ain't it? Shit. It's gonna be some big problems. I'm going to jail. <laughs> but I'm going to jail. <laughs> That nigga crazy. It's gonna be all over new, boy. That nigga dub a motherfucker. That nigga uh, cut uh, off. You know how black people Then you, you lose it all that way, then. No, I won't. Nah, you're hustling. Because you know, you know, you know she ain't gonna go around and press charges. <laughs> Baby, City can pick it up. She, it's ways around that. <laughs> Is she gonna go to court? No case. <laughs> That's what it's like. She's going to court, no case. Was there anything on that list I sent you? Yeah, hold on. So, okay. No, so the weed strand, will it be also, I know Texas, it ain't legal. When it will be, it will be everywhere. Okay, like, but no, I, I, I got one of them ones. Texas definitely coming. Because Duro, Duro said that he, he, did he did his, and he said they did something where you can even order it online and ship it anywhere, his including Texas. Well, his ain't weed, then. <laughs> Shout out to the road, but he ain't got that pie out. He you said got it that is. I got that motherfucker. Hey, you can't ship this. You can smell it through anything. I can't <laughs> ship this. I'm telling you that right now. You bet not. You bet not. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, how was the Super Bowl experience? Super Bowl experience was dope. Something I ain't never experienced in my life. Let me tell you a quick story for the world. I'm out there in Vegas the whole week because I was meeting with Shannon Sharp now. I'm getting acquainted with the whole volume team, this, that, and the third. And um, I went over to Champ House, did the skit. He wanted to do a skit. Man, let's do a skit. All right, Champ, let's do a skit. We do a skit. So it's game day. So I hit Floyd up. Say, man, where y'all going to be at after the game? Um, you know, I could meet up with y'all. He's like, we're going to be at the skating ring. You know, meet me up, pulling up. So pull up. Cool. So I'm at the room chilling. Like, I'm going to watch the game. Two ball. So about 30 minutes later, uh, Floyd, uh, driver hit me up. Shout out to Roy. Uh, he hit me up. He said, man, where you at? I said, man, I'm at the room. He said, man, it ain't going to make no sense of you coming out here. I'm like, what the hell? I'm coming out here. Y'all there for Y'all for to go to the game. He's like, yeah. You idiot. Me going to the stadium. I'm mm -hmm. like, what? He's like, yeah. Uh, I got your ticket. I forgot to tell you. I'm like, what ticket? Your Super Bowl ticket, idiot. Floyd wow. been on about your Super Bowl ticket. Damn. You didn't know? Uh -uh. I'm like, nah, he didn't tell me. He's like, man, yeah, he been on about your Super Bowl ticket. And um, yeah, I went there to the game, man. That shit was like walking was in, walking into the game. Uh, shout out to Glorilla. I seen her standing there. They had her, really? they had her hemmed up. The people, I come in, Bubba Dub, what's up, baby? Slid right on through there, uh -oh. no problem. It was, it was, it was a dope experience, man. Like, wow. Ain't like being there is different from watching it on TV. Man, I, I, I know imagine. it was. It's just, it's just love, man. man. So let me ask you this now. Um, the P Diddy. Everybody seen P Diddy going crazy on social media. Yeah, yeah. I even seen some stuff coming up. Um, they showing pictures like he really just doing a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm like, where did all this come from? I mean, I think it all come from the fact that Diddy tried to... Uh, I think he got into it with Ciroc. You know, mm. Diddy never owned Ciroc, but he had his food. He had his food yeah, on Yeah, because he was pushing that like and crazy. And they got into it, and I think they just started spilling the beans on him. Damn. And you know how they try to do that shit, assassinate your character, and Diddy got a lot of shit in the closet. Diddy done found a lot of niggas. Damn. A lot of so niggas. So you believe all those allegations to be true? I ain't going to say all, but Diddy done found some niggas before. Take what? that, take that. Like, take the, man, get the fuck. Listen, I don't care what nobody says. Say, I don't that, know. I'm just saying allegedly, but from allegedly. what I'm seeing, but from what I'm seeing, his, his, the way he act around certain men. You seen that video? You ain't never parted with me before, go, daddy. No, 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 man, call no, 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 man, daddy like that. Yeah. Daddy, daddy, in them boy. He give him, man, he, man. He give him a lot, money and power. People do anything for it, man. Damn. People do anything to be famous, man. And Diddy, and Diddy know that. That's how he control them. You want to be big? Yeah, I want to be big, Diddy. All right, give you a million dollars. I'll blow you up in two months. Come on in this room. Oh, 
all day. And then you go in that room, it's dark, then a motherfucker. <laughs> it's so dark, God can't bring God light to it. Dang it, no. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. No. You start putting them hands on your shoulders and shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> pause, 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 pause. Stop. The then that the just going down. Do that. Wow. <laughs> man, I had asked you earlier that I would let you go, man. By Cam Newton. Yeah, by Cam mm-hmm. Newton. That's about that scuffle, man. Like, yeah, Cam got, man, it was. Cam got. He got hands. Well, Cam got old man in. strength. He was moving them niggas around. He was moving them niggas around like they were water jugs. Yes. They were trying to run up on him. You can't whoop no nigga dressed like Cat in the Hat. <laughs> That nigga cold. Oh, that nigga said you can't whip no nigga dress like Cam. Yeah, that. Hell no. Might well come up off of it. Come you up ain't off gonna of do it. it. Boy, that nigga, Cam Greg, that nigga shit on himself. Damn. Wow. I seen it. I was like, damn, man, it's getting active. And it was, it, it, he was moving him around. Hey, Cam a good guy, man. He, he wasn't even really wanting this to do all that. Guy, he was trying man. to stop a fight from what I heard. He, he better than me because I've been shooting in the air. You know, I can't fight, so I won't scare him. Oh, you Bow! Then go back and lie. I'm gonna kill them niggas. <laughs> That's the way niggas do, boy. You know niggas, boy. You definitely from the country. Definitely, man. That's what we do. We ain't gonna fight now. We're gonna shoot in the eye. Nigga, shoot, no yeah, day. nigga, I could have killed all them niggas down there. I, I, you, so I'm saved them, nigga. Yeah, I sat out there in them bushes for yeah. about 30 minutes and they didn't show up. One of them niggas come up, I'd have killed one of them niggas. That's the way they do. <laughs> guy was on that guy was on them niggas' side, man. That's what niggas <laughs> said. Guy was on them niggas' side. My shit jammed. My shit jammed on me. <laughs> So I gotta ask you because I saw you posted it on your um, Instagram that you're doing some business with Kyrie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just but left Kyrie. You said, Kyrie. Coming, you said left, coming soon, I, so I'm I, hoping I, that I you can left. give us a little bit. I just left Kyrie, man. I'm, 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 I'm chopping it up with him on some serious shit. You know, Kyrie Irving, the, a down earth guy. And, you know, wow. he just had his shoes just dropped wow. today. So oh, I went awesome. and, I went and um, chopped it up with him because, you know, I called you him out in shoes? basketball. Yeah, I got him. Okay. I just called him out in the What'd basketball you game. You gonna whoop him? Uh, uh, I lied, but you know, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make this sound nigga. good. Run up no, on that nigga taller than I thought he was, fam. I know. What happened? Man, I mean, that's what I've been, problem I've been having. I've been talking all the shit about them NBA niggas <laughs> and see him in person, them niggas giant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, duh, what's up now? Shit, you got it, fam. <laughs> I gotta ask you one more thing. So, what thing. you got coming oh, out oh, with? Oh. No, what you got coming out with Kyrie? Well, I'm, I'm shooting Cause out. Because you said something coming soon, well, and I'm know, trying to figure out what it is. Well, you know, we're going to link up during the summer on something in his hometown, but I'm okay. trying to bring something to light with him. I can't okay. really say, because people steal your ideas. That's right. But it's, it'll be dope. Okay. Like, if the world see what I'm trying to do something with him on this level, it'll be game changing, not only for me, but for other content artists as well. Like, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to build. And he's all about that. Try, you know, he's all about that. Helping okay. his people. He's can, all about that. Okay, can you just tell me, you coming to the improv when? I'm going to be in the improv March the 15th through the 17th, Arlington, Texas. It's going down. Grab them tickets. Boy, I went to the lab. You know it's I'm almost be sold there. out. A couple days already sold out. Well, right? Saturday, day, I almost sold out. It's for the go. Saturday, I'm, it's for the go. I'm trying to get to Friday, I almost sold out. Mm-hmm. What can we expect to see if we come to this show, man? New jokes. It's going down. New jokes. New jokes. Growth. Growth. Um, you feel see Jerry Morgan now. Oh, man. I can't wait, bro. I can't wait, man. I love seeing you on that stage, bro. New Everybody jokes. see you in your, in your element of funny when you when they see the skits. But it's a whole different beast on that stage, bro. I got five new jokes. That's all it <laughs> takes for you. It don't take much for this nigga. This nigga gonna go off up there. Five new jokes. I can't wait, bro. Mixed with some of the old, but oh, okay. I got five new jokes. That I'm gonna be in that old man. I'm coming. I'm as soon as I get back in town. I'm at that old man. I'm with you. It's gonna be good. When we gonna working. get a Netflix special? When the time is right. I, that's all I can say now. When the time is right. Uh, is that something you're shooting for though? That's a, that's, that's that's a goal of mine. That's a goal. That's a goal of mine. But the biggest goal of mine is to be in Hollywood movies. Yeah, I just don't want to do the Hollywood things to get to the movies. Mm. That's the only thing. Mm. I know I hate to ask you this question, but where is where is the podcast when we want to see Bubba Dub now? Because uh, everybody right been now, following limo, you. Bro. Started it's the in, movement. It's in limo right you now. know your people looking for it. Yeah, they asking every day. It's, That's what I'm saying. It's in limo right now. That's all I can say. Me and you know who I'm with. We still are trying to get this uh, contract by. It's not happening yet. It's been. I ain't gonna lie. I've been depressed. Really? Yeah, this shit been having me down, man. I saw you posted that one day, and I'm like, Better hold up, be. hold up. I'm hold on up. my way. I never heard Bubba Dub talk about being depressed, but you posted something and said you was depressed. Was you really jiving, or was you no, really real. just it's really? Real. It's real. I was really depressed. And so it, wasn't nothing, it wasn't nothing but the devil for me to say that. You know, sometimes you, you want things you want to happen then, and it don't happen for you. That's you know? real. 
I got pushed a lot of shit off to the side on this podcast deal. I stopped doing comedy shows for a whole month, wow. just gearing up. Um, so I probably missed out on about forty k. Mm-hmm. Just putting that to the side to grill for something to happen because yeah. I wanted to be in line and and it didn't happen. And it wasn't about the money; it's just that I was telling my fans the show coming, it's coming, it's coming. And one thing I want to do is like my fans. That's what but got what, it. That's what did it. Yeah. What you um. Cause what watching your journey, and I see you doing you know the show over here and doing this. I'm talking podcast, mm-hmm. you know, over here doing this, doing that. I know you, when entrepreneurs, we try different things till we can find something that stick. I know that you said it can be discouraging, but what pulled you out of that? What 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 keep you going? Oh man, just coming from where I come from. I ain't that too damn depressed. Come on now, like coming from where I come from and what I've been through. I ain't, I'm 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 tripping. Mm-hmm. Like you tripping over some small shit. There's some people who can't get out the bed. Got it. Here I am, able to move around, fly here and now whatever I want. <clears throat> You're having a great by my family, whatever they want, this and that. Go get whatever car, whatever I want. Um, I'm not that damn depressed. I'm I'm not doing like that. So I feel like I was doing a disservice to the people who really are going through some shit. Right. And uh, I want to apologize like for that, that comment to my fans. That's too. real. Like Cause we okay. love you, nigga. Yes. Yeah, so. And if you <coughs> ever do that to me again, nigga, I kill you. But how many, <laughs> how many calls? How many calls myself. you got? How many calls you Man, got? Man, I got that a lot post? of calls, and I got a lot of calls. Bro, gonna do it. We love you. Yes, I can imagine. Let me hold twenty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you know they gonna ask for it. So, hey, man, I can't wait to see you at the improv, man. I can't wait to see you down in Meridian, yes, uh, Mississippi. Mississippi for sure. It's going down, man. Bubba Dub, and I can't wait to see you back on this show because mm-hmm. every time the ground crack, we coming again. I'm doing stuff for some kids too here in That's Dallas, hard. Texas, That's April hard. the 13th here in Dallas, Texas, Dallas United. Where? Um, by Fair Park. Okay. It's gonna be at the Fair Park. What you doing for them? Uh, we get just mental illness. Mental okay. Illness, helping people, you know. Having Got mental it. problems for the teens, um, just talking to them. Even the police, shout out to the police who who been doing the right things when people are calling y'all being there on time, protecting people and not shooting mo- innocent motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, you right. Like, like, you and know, just so, make them laugh. Cause so, yeah, because some people feel like all oh, police is bad. That's not true. No, you know? I got. Problems. I, I talk all the time about fuck the police, but scream my language. But when that nigga whooping my ass, I couldn't wait to see them red, white, blue lights. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you, man. You be happy to see him, don't you? Like, man, what? what Jumped man, in his own. Ain't somebody up. <laughs> oh, boy, you ain't right, man. Well, man, we love you, Bubba Dub. I know you got a lot going on, man. Just know that we always praying for you. We love sure. you, bro. If you need me, you know I'm there. For sure. I don't care what nobody say. I got Bubba Dub. You niggas in trouble. I can call Bubba Dub. It's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I got one last question. Oh, you got one more? I'm going to shut the thing down. I know you watch comics mm-hmm. because you're in that job. Mm-hmm. So give me one of your most favorite joke that you hear your best comedian say that can never get old to you. And every time you hear it, you're going to crack up. Probably earthquake. What is it? It's the shit he says. Um, it's a joke that he said about his kid, his son. He can't get his son to take a bath. But Kobe Bryant could. Yeah, you gotta watch it. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. Like he saying he can't t- make his kid do nothing, but basketball players can. And he like mm. nigga Kobe take a bath. <laughs> He'll go take a bath. <laughs> Some shit got like it. that. Got it. Man, so that's, got I, that's, it. That's, I like that joke I, I, a lot. I, I, it was a question I was gonna ask, but I didn't ask you because I'm done with this. But cause you know, cat talked about joke stealing. Yeah, they do it all the time. People be stealing. But you can't joke. stop it. So you might so well I don't care about it. people stealing my jokes because they can't deliver it like me. That's mm-hmm. real. That's real. Because you went through that already where yeah. people stole your jokes. Yeah, before. And, and that's and cool, I'm, man. That's like, the way it is. It be like that, but at the end of the day, that nigga be working right there. I'm waiting on the new slogan coming in just a minute, man. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the show, yes. man. Make sure you guys uh, get in these comments, get in these, and, and look at this next clip for sure. Make sure y'all look at this next clip that's coming up with Bubba Dub, man. We love you, bro. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 with a Boss to Talk.